Hey guys, uh, just want to make a little update on the beacon as everything is working pretty nice. Stu made some really cool, a really cool mod and the script is really working fine. So I'm just going to point you out how it works. So the first thing you need to know obviously is to do a print test. We're going to do, you know, do your calibration and everything. You're going to do your print test like a slab, you know, a cube that's 0.2 millimeter thick. And once you're gonna have done that, you're gonna go on your printer and Z offset trim perfectly, you know, for for it to be, you know, perfect for a nice squish. Like example for this one, I don't know if you can see, you know, this is really, really a nice, a nice first layer. It's super compact, you know, it, it, it's really well. So, once you're gonna have done that and then you're gonna have your measurement so example that uh, my squish you know my z offset i ended up at uh, minus point zero one five example we're gonna go over here we're gonna go into our advanced part and insert our number over here you know this is what we need to work with so this is really important that you apply your measure over here for your Z offset. So my offset was at minus 0 0.015. And then on the fi uh, filament NG code, you're gonna do the reverse. So if you're minus there, you're gonna put it on positive over here. And then if you're positive over here, you're gonna put it on negative over here. So it reverse, you know, because we wanna clear out if we change filament, whatever. So once this is done, then after that, we can go into our you know, do your your setup, put your cube on and everything. Then we're gonna go in there. I preheated my bed to 60, so we're not gonna lose too much time. And you simply, what you're gonna do is slice it, send it to the print. Once this is gonna be done, me on my version, I got a little, uh, got a little extra, uh, extra button because I got the poop. I don't want it to poop, so I'm gonna click no, no pooping. And printer will start to do is all, all this calibration by itself. So it will reset the bed mesh to zero. It will reset the offset that was used before to zero. And then it will do its contact probing We'll do a Z tilt, and then once this is gonna be done, then it will go get ready with the camp and everything. It's gonna do this bed mesh with camp, and then it will fetch, go fetch your filament offset that you put into it. And then from there, then it will just print the first layer to the perfect freaking height, so. All right, so now we're gonna go do our Z tilt, make sure the calibration is nice. And if we look in here, I'm gonna just scroll this down. It will probe and adjust itself. If the probe is in the tolerance for the Z tilt, it'll just it'll do just one probing. If it's a little bit offset, it will do its two probe. It will do it twice just to make sure that everything gets into the uh, the range. So now the beacon is doing is uh, collecting a sample, adjusting itself. There you go. Now the beacon is done. Now it's gonna do its camp. Funny fact is normally it's supposed to run at 400, but I think we still have a little glitch that it kind of loses the speed. I don't know why. Now we're on park. I work with line purge, so it's kind of easier. 
there's this little smooch in front and once this is done it goes and starts to spread. The combined purges uh, actually from camp is easier to pick up, it's you know it's just blob that poops out and uh, that's it. And there you go, it's starting his old sequence and everything. If you look over here, see my setting, the filament of set, my offset is set to minus 15,000 of an inch. So it's exactly what we wanted and this is what gives you the best result. Obviously it's gonna go with each filament. Each filament you're gonna have to do your little sample you do a little cube like 30 by 30 or whatsoever and then adjust trim your z offset so once you go there you can use your z offset on the uv pad or I me mean, i like to use the uh my offset over here because we have uh, increments of five thousand of a, of a millimeter so it's easier and more precise a little bit so and then once you got your measurement obviously this is what the, the z offset that you have over here this is what you need to remember to put into your filament the prepare you know when you go over here go over here and then you go into your advance and you put your values over here and that's it now every time you got to print with the same filament it will go fetch his offset if you change like when the chili the 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 box is going to be available we'll have different filaments so if you print with abs PTG, and then i do some switching like that each filament that's going to start will readjust itself with the offset that's already recorded for each filament and uh, that's it works like a charm save a little bit on the time on the start print start this could be some modification being done but as for now it works great there's no more problem with the piezo bed there's no problem with the pro because obviously we're using the beacon so i think the system is quite good hopefully chidi will implement this on their next machine and Give it, uh, you know, make it as a freaking option, or uh, it, it, they need to do something. Obviously, the piezo beds are really not good, and we are having a lot of problem. So there you go, guys. The little next project is to fit the little no me <laughs> display on the two LEDs. So yeah, crazy ideas. All right, happy printing.